it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 26th, we are going to have our last Asher event taking place here for this month. And it happens to be Mr. Mercury. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. He's leaving his rulership in Virgo energy, where we were focusing on the issues, on the problems, of course, in order for us to fix them, to heal them, to resolve them. We were focused on the smaller details of our inner narrative of our plans, if you will, we got illuminated to a lot of different information, a lot of different viewpoints, a lot of different options. We were information gathering, especially to figure out where it is that we had to do better, where it is that we had room to make improvements. We had a lot to dissect as far as how it is that we've gotten here, what is working, what is not, what we could improve upon, what we could do better, and of course, how we could bring new vo- viewpoints, new thoughts, new opinions into focus. Now we're about to move into Libra energy. And again, may I remind you, we're still in eclipse season. So there's an element of confusion and delusion. We are also, again, still in this equinox adjustment period that we will not fully understand where the scales were getting balanced out until post eclipse season, because it is a very rare instance that we are having this eclipse energy, again, karmically balancing out the scales in between the eclipse points that, of course, throws the karmic scales out of whack. So Mercury moving into Libra energy, it's almost as if the information that we've gathered, the identification, the problematic areas, the new ideas, the new thoughts, the new opinions, all the information that we gathered while in Virgo energy that we tried to make sense of, that we tried to organize, now we have to balance out the scales. That's essentially what Libra energy is all about. We have been living in a particular extreme with our thoughts, our ideas, our inner dialogue, our inner narrative, our opinions. And now we have to see both sides of the coin. We have to challenge ourselves to see things from a different lens, from a different perspective. Now, typically Libra energy is very people pleasing, which means that when it comes to communication, we are definitely in a situation to compromise, to negotiate. We want everybody to get along. We want everybody to be on the same page. Problematic areas, though, is that we tend to, I'm going to say, manipulate, charm our way through conversations. Again, leaning into the shallow end, the fake facade, if you will, there's a lot of glossing over of a lot of serious topics, a lot of the topics and themes that we want to speak out loud. We're not going to because we don't want to poke the bear. We don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to be the bad guy. And so what happens is, is that, of course, we are open to having conversations, especially if it means clearing the air, especially if it means getting back on the same page with the people, places and things got a little bit out of whack as of late. But we're really not being as true to ourselves, as authentic as we could be. That particular level of depth and intimacy and vulnerability is going to come at us when Mercury moves into Scorpio energy. We're not in that as of right now. Venus, the ruler over Libra season and this Libra energy, she's already doing the depths into her passions, her desires, her deepest, darkest secrets in that Scorpio energy. Mercury and Libra energy, again, we're going to try to orient to the most positive outlook, the most optimistic perspective. We're trying to say the right things to get ourselves by. We have a lot of things that we're biting our tongue about, that we're repressing, that we're keeping to ourselves because, again, we don't want people to be mad at us. That is one of the shadow parts of Libra energy. So although we are definitely pushing ourselves to see a different perspective, a different side of the situation, the other side of the coin, it's really not going to help us make any kind of, I'm going to say, important decisions because indecision reigns supreme in Libra energy. We are going to arrive at a good idea, arrive at a solution, but not be able to take action upon it. A, because we're in eclipse season and we're not in power. B, because we're going to be on the fence. We kind of teeter-totter back and forth, if you will. And again, when you kind of bring into the realm of understanding that Libra energy is represented by those scales, 
we spend the majority of any Libra transit trying to live in those extremes to bring things into balance, but we never normally achieve it until the end of the transit. So we're definitely going to feel a shift in our mental plane, because again, the Virgo energy being an earth sign ruled over by Mercury had us very focused on our physical circumstances, on our physical realm, where there's problems, the issues, and again, focusing in on solutions in order to solve them. The Libra energy is very relationship focused. And again, starting with the relationship with thyself and how that spills over and how we truly realize whether or not we are advocating for ourselves in our relationship dynamics, especially when it comes to communicating our wants, our needs, our desires. So there is going to be an element where, you know, we're moving into an airy situation. That's what that Libra energy is. So we're not as heavy and weighted in the physical body and the physical circumstance and the problematic areas as we were in Virgo energy. Now we want to kind of lighten the vibe. We want to, again, bring the rainbows and butterflies back into things, but we also realize how much energy it's taking to avoid the depth of our thoughts, of our feelings, of our ideas, of our new realizations. We're going to great lengths in order to mask that because we do not think at this particular juncture that we are prepared to take action and make moves on what we would have to kind of boss up and be re responsible and accountable for. We're not really feeling that particular trigger point as of yet. And so what do we do when we are not ready to be as forthcoming with our authentic selves, our authentic wants, needs, and desires, we just keep it light and fluffy. We gloss over those topics. We deviate from the actual situation and the circumstance, and we just try to make light of things. Now, let me also just say, we are going to encounter the energy that we are running from. We are going to encounter that depth. We are going to encounter that truth, that fear, those dotes, those insecurities, that passion, that intimacy, that vulnerability that we are running from in the Libra energy, we are 100% going to be experiencing all of that when Mercury moves into Scorpio energy. So I would really advise that you be at least real and raw and vulnerable with yourself throughout this particular transit. Understand where it is that you're glossing over matters. Understand where it is that you feel safer playing in the shallow end until you feel more empowered, if you will, which is definitely coming at us post eclipse season, empowered to speak your truth, empowered to put the words out there that are then going to require you to boss up and take action upon said words that is coming at us. It is not here yet. So again, tread very carefully, very lightly, especially with the narrative that you're telling yourself. And more importantly, with how it is that you are actually communicating with other people. Because here's the thing, if you kind of, you know, stand behind the mask, if you stand behind this fake facade, and you start spitting all of these lies, all of these inauthentic truths, you are definitely going to be seen as kind of backpedaling when we move into the Scorpio energy and the truth will prevail. So we don't want to go out of our way to lie and deceive others. We definitely don't want to lie and deceive ourselves. But at the same time, we are sticking to the shallow end of these conversations. We don't want to go too deep because depth means that we have to be real and being real means you have to be accountable and being accountable means that you have to be prepared to back up what you say and to take the actions that are needed in order to really drive that particular point home. We are just not in the position to do so. So I am going to recommend if you haven't already to listen to your September Zodiac forecast, which is now coming to the end, this being the last Astro event. And of course, that Libra season e-guide is brand spanking new. Definitely flip to this particular section of that workbook, gather your thoughts, really kind of put your honesty, your truth of the situation down on paper, because we will be revisiting this particular transit in the months to come. And a lot of the storylines that we are either planting the seeds of at this particular juncture or going to great lengths to avoid even talking about, they will be coming front row center in our faces over this next couple of months.